guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm actually going to be introducing another project. And before you guys go in off in the comments and like, you're already doing like four, what are you doing? How are you going to keep track? This is not an eyeshadow based project. I only actually have one non eyeshadow related project and that is my whole collection project pan. And in that I'm actually only working on 10 products. So I'm only actually, you know, working on 10 products in a project pan at the moment. And I wanted to do a second project, which is going to be my project 10 uses. So this is going to run similarly to the way my pan is eyeshadows kind of runs in tandem to my one week one palette in that this is going to kind of take the back seat compared to my whole collection project pan but I'm just going to basically use this to cycle through all the different products in my collection because I do find that if I'm panning something I'll end up just focusing in on that I won't actually get good use out of all of my products so the plan is going to be that I'm going to basically randomly generate one product or so in each category depending on how many of that category I have in my whole collection project pan I will either roll in more or less because I don't want to take away from that project I just want to kind of like fill in the blanks almost so I'm going to randomly generate one or two or three products each month to focus on in all the different categories and I'll basically just be trying to use them 10 times and then put them back in my collection and then next month I will roll something else in I'm just going to get started because I feel like this um, will make much more sense when I'm actually talking through it and going through it rather than just kind of like trying to explain it but I'm basically just going to pull the pretty random up. I'm very excited because this is the first time I'm going to be able to actually do it on my phone. Normally I have to do it on my laptop but now I can actually just like shake and a number will come up and I'm very excited about that. I am now going to just basically generate a number for each of my kind of sections. So going kind of in order of the face we're going to start off with primer. So I'm going to put in the numbers from one to seven because I have seven primers and I'm basically just going to be trying to use these ten times each. So I think I'm going to roll it in um, two primers I'm not working on a primer at the moment so I'm gonna roll in two so the first one we're going to have is number four which is one two three four oh my hello fab pause be gone matte primer so that is just this primer here the uh, first aid beauty pause be gone matte primer so I'm going to be working on this trying to use that one ten times I really hope I have actually explained this and you guys aren't really confused this is a reasonably popular project I think the intro was really really badly explained but I really hope you guys get it but the next primer we're going to pull in is number three and that one is my oh that's going to be really handy actually um this is my wet and wild matte photo focus primer is it photo focus this is my wet and wild matte a photo focus primer I don't know if you can see but I'm actually really really nearly done with this I was kind of trying to unofficially project pan this and I think I'm literally only a couple of uses away so I don't even think this will take the whole 10 uses to finish um, but I'm very excited to finally have an excuse to finish this one up so those are going to be the two primers I'm working on then for foundation I think I'm just going to roll the one in because I don't wear foundation every day um so I'm going to roll in from this is just where it is in my spreadsheet so I'm not going to try and work it out I'm going to do from 8 till 15 and randomize one foundation we have number 14 oh that's one of my favorites so I'm very excited about that we have my Catrice true skin foundation and that is this one here it just looks like this um, one of my favourite foundations, I just have the shade O2 Neutral Ivory, but I really, really love this, so I'm excited to roll that one in. Um, I am currently trying to pan kind of unofficially my uh, Maybelline Fit Me, and that is obviously going really well. I don't know if you can see there is a big window in there, so I'm going to keep that in my kind of daily makeup rotation, but obviously just try and use that uh, Catrice True Skin 10 times. So next up we have concealer. I don't think I'm actually going to roll in a concealer because I am currently working on my collection concealer in my whole collection project pan so I'm gonna keep that one in and then for powder also not gonna roll one in because I am just currently working on one in my own time then for cream blush I'm actually gonna roll one in because I, I know I am working on one in my whole collection project pan but I have so many and I don't want any of them to expire and I'm getting a little bit sick of the one I'm currently working on so I'm quite eager to have something else to kind of break it up with so I'm gonna randomize a number from 28 to 43 I've got a lot of cream blush and that is gonna to be number 29 so that is oh yes that's a good one my tower 28 golden hour blush tower 28 has one of my favorite formulas of cream blush and i don't 
and I haven't really played with this one too much since I got it but this is just it here um just a really gorgeous kind of orange toned blush and that is just what the product looks like there so yeah really excited to use that one 10 times it basically looks nearly untouched uh so I'm definitely really excited to work on that one and again I'm just gonna roll one of those in because I am already working on one then for powder blush technically again I'm working on one but I'm gonna roll another one in um because for products like colored products I actually like to have a variety so I don't get too bored so I'm gonna put in numbers 44 till there's a lot 82 jesus that's a lot of blush so that's gonna give me number 57 which is oh okay that's exciting that's my beauty bay coral blush again haven't used this one too much but it will pair nicely with my tower 28 blush because they are similar colors i don't know if you can see um i'll open this one up yeah they're definitely similar kind of orange toned colors so that'll be super fun to work on those two together and they're also very different tones to my uh whole collection project pan products so that would definitely be fun for bronzer i am going to roll one in i'm not actually working on a bronzer at the moment i might roll in two i think just because 83 so we're going to go from 83 to 95 so the first one we have is number 95 so that is going to be my kaleidos second shade in my charisma contour palette so this is here and it's going to be this shade at the bottom here and i really like this palette i think it's really pretty and um works really nicely so i'm going to have that one in and then the second bronzer i'm going to roll in is going to be number 90 and that is well that's going to be a cream bronzer so i don't want to roll that in because i'm working on two cream bronzers technically number 84 oh that's my lottie london bronzer and i haven't worked on that one too much either so that is this one here just the lottie london sunburst bronzer sunkissed bronzer in sunburst i think that's what it looks like there so this is definitely a mini so i'm going to be working on these two i'm very excited about that so i actually think that is going to be all the products we are going to be rolling in for my first round because I am already working on two different highlighters in my whole collection project pan and three different lip products So I don't want to pull in too much and overwhelm myself So I think I'm just gonna stick with these seven products to start with So to recap the two primers we have are the wet and wild photo focus matte primer the hello fab pause be gone matte primer So we've got two mattifying primers in there Then we have the catrice true skin foundation in o2 neutral ivory then we've got the Tower 28 uh, Cream Blush, the Beach Please Cream Blush in Golden Hour. And the Beauty Bay Powder Blush in Coral, this shade here. And lastly, the two bronzers, we've got the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette. It's just the bottom shade that we're going to be working on. And the Lottie London Sunkissed Bronzer in Sunburst. So yeah, really excited to use these all 10 times. I'll be back uh, next month once I have used these, obviously, all 10 times. And I will roll some new stuff in and hopefully some different categories too because we'll be rolling them, fingers crossed, out of my whole collection project pan too. So yeah, I really hope you guys are excited for this new project. I am too. I really like to kind of rotate through my collection and I think this is going to really help me do a little bit better with that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like down below. Hit subscribe, turn on the bell to join a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications. Then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. If you want to watch one of my other videos, there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a load linked up in the cards from earlier. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!